Hey, we're back. Buenos dias. Henry, we're fooling them with this video, and aren't we? We're tricking them. They don't even know if it's day or night, morning or afternoon. They don't know what's going on. Uh, hey, we're back. We're making another video. All right, cool. Put some WD-40 on that. Uh, hey, what's going on? What are we doing today? Um, I think we're going to keep working on our weight loss deal a little bit. Uh, I've got, anyway, I've got some stuff that I want to do and maybe, I don't, I don't know. I think I'm going to swap the intake. So, just to hell with it. <laughs> to the hell with it. So, I think I'm going to swap the intake. we got some weight loss stuff we're going to do. What does that, what does that entail? Well, I don't know exactly yet. We'll, we'll see. I want to trim some stuff off the K-member. At the end of the day, this car is a piece of crap. It's a, it's a pile. And the one thing it's good for, though, is going down the track. And, you know, it's it's never going to be restored. It's never going to be nice. I like them rough and ready. That's not a, that is not a newsflash for anybody here. So, uh, but it's a fine line between going too far and can't come back from certain things and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we're going to cut some stuff off and trim it. And every little pound here and there is a pound here and there. There's other places I can get poundage, but some of it you're just kind of experimenting. I, I am. I'm like, hey, what if I cut this off? Or what if I cut that off? Or what if I did this? Or what if I tried to do that? Some of it is, is it worth the trouble? Is it worth the time? Is it worth the effort? Sometimes these are things you just got to find out for yourself. So, you know, let's, let's do some finding out. So, uh... We're gonna pull the nose back off. We're gonna trim some stuff around on the uh, front frame rails and stuff. And what I was gonna do originally, but I ran out of time. So we're gonna do some of that. I may work on sound deadener some more. I hate doing that, I hate it. Oh my God, I hate it. And uh, I think we're probably gonna start on the intake swap, but uh, we got, we'll got we get the nose off then. It's gonna be lunchtime. It's a little chilly so I, and wet. Down in Florida, and maybe other, well, I guess maybe like Louisiana, Alabama, we get that wet cold, and it, it just sticks to you. So while it's not super cold, it's just a miserable feel. So um, anyway, I like to let it warm up a little bit before we start. So let me start taking stuff apart. We'll see where we end up, whatever. Right? He didn't, they didn't get a granola bar this morning, so they're probably upset. On a side note, our valve covers didn't leak, so I was super happy with that. Just, oh my gosh, this thing, I mean, it, not only did it sound like a pulp wood truck, it looked like a pulp wood truck. Um, so, anyway, let me start getting this stuff unbolted. We got some other things that we're looking at doing. We got a, a little part in the mail. We don't know how far this is going to snowball or escalate. We still got to do the distributor. Um, but we don't know. So there's certain things that we don't know about what's going to, how far this is going to escalate that thing right there, that right there, that might be disappearing. I, I don't know if we want to get that far into it, but anyway, I shouldn't be messing with any of this or this. This is not what I should be working on. I should be doing other stuff, but you know, I work on what I want to work on, on the, on the car, you know, doesn't always have to make sense or at least just makes sense to me and pretty sure we're gonna do the intake i'm talking myself into it i pulled the torque out looked at it and said man that thing looks really cool <laughs> i know that's a, that's a perfect that's a perfectly logical reason to put it on it looks cool okay let's get to work let's get some wrenches out all right we're gonna pull our radiator we're gonna drain it and we're gonna drain it out here in the yard it's just water no antifreeze don't worry about the dogs um, but we ain't gonna, we don't drain it on the pad, so we try to keep the mess to a minimum as far as what we're gonna have to end up with laying in or whatever. So let's get that, let's get that drained. Let's get, uh, let's get this deal done. Oh my gosh, I'm doing this one handed without my glasses on. Holy hell. There we go. Look, I know you guys like it when I'm doing work or you think I'm doing work or I think I'm doing work. Somebody thinks the work's being done. So anyway, oh wow. Just about stepped in a dog hole. So let's get some of this water out here. Oh God, this hose is, oh there it is. 
I'll let the rust out. There it goes. Yes. Yes, let that rusty water out. Oh, uh, we cut it. Cut it out. All right, cool. This is <laughs> super exciting. Uh, but we need the radiator out so we can get into it. Man, I, I don't know. Mm, we do not have a lot of frame rail here. So we're going to have to be careful about what we're cutting and stuff like that. So... As you can see, I already cut. This was rusty, so I just cut it out. It looked like crap anyway, so, you know, we'll just dig some more. I know these are just little tiny bits of poundage. We'll look at cutting the sway bar mounts off, I think. You know, get some of this out over here. I know it's not a lot of weight, but, you know, I don't need any of that. I know, I, I know it's structural. It's structural. Dude, it ain't holding nothing hardly. It's holding this aluminum radiator, and it's holding some what's left of this nose piece which i have already trimmed up so it's not that much we'll see you do a big wheelie and the nose just crinkle on it just <laughs> and i'll be like well i guess i shouldn't have done that right <laughs> anyway nibble 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 that's how you eat an elephant one bite at a time all right <clears throat> well we got it's bra i was gonna say her bra off but i want to clarify something too and Sometimes I know if people are watching the whole video, which it doesn't matter to me if you do or not, but literally none of my cars are girls. Everyone says you got to run. It's not hers. All my guy, all my cars are basically guys. Not because I'm gay, because these guys are bastards and they mess with me. You know, they get me, they get me like just whatever, but they're dudes. We're like, we're like brothers in arms. You know what I mean? It's not like me and my chick out here getting something done. That's not how I look at it. I've always looked at my cars as... That's why they all like have dude names for the most part. Um, I guess I kind of look at Teresa's car as a kind of a girl car, I guess. I don't know. But certain cars are definitely like gender specific. Krusty is a dude. Why would I name a car crusty if it was a girl that doesn't make any sense to me this car doesn't even have a name but it's a dude it's a guy i mean look at it there's just i mean i guess there's some women that look this bad but damn <laughs> you know what i mean so they're like you know my cars are dudes so taking this bra off doesn't make any sense well not really but anyway so anyway we got his shirt pulled off it's skins and shirts anyway that sounds crazy uh, but yeah, I want to clear that up when people say, you got her running good. It's not a her. It's, it's a guy. This is a dude. I've always viewed this car. L Fail TD, that's a freaking dude, man. He, he's a bastard, 100%. So it's just brain is a dude. I always reference them as guys. So, or as like my buddies. You know, they're like, you're like your friend, man. You're homie. So anyway, this is what we got. We got this nose piece off. I know these videos, Jesus Christ. So. We got this crap off, and uh, we're going to look at where we're going to start. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, there's a very good chance that I'll make a mess of this. Right, Shelbers? 100% chance. There's a 100% chance I'll make a mess of this. But I would say if there's one thing I'm good at is picking out good dogs, but Mom actually picked you out. Yes, I know, right? You don't think we did such a hot job on Henry, though, do you? You're like, no, he's a, he is a bastard, 100%. So, yeah, you're a good girl, though. Yes, you are. You are a good girl, 100% you are. You're not a licker like Henry, though. She's very thoughtful and emotional. Henry, his only emotion is hunger, happiness, sleepiness. <laughs> That's about it for him. All right, cool deal. Let me start getting some, let me get some cutting going on here and, uh, get this get this situation figured out well guys we probably got like two whole pounds or maybe a pound out of that <laughs> but you know what sometimes you got to get what you can get so um we'll keep nibbling away and seeing where we end up and you know it is what it is keep on cutting so it's probably not going to be much and you know, again, it's not going to be much, but every little bit counts. Every little bit helps. And I don't know. 
We'll just see what we'll just see what we end up with. Our little pile is collecting. Look at this right here. This is race car stuff. We don't need that. It's just got to hold the radiator. We ain't going nowhere. What are we worried about that for? Well, I'll tell you what. We're not worried about it. Because we're crazy. You put one of those in my hands, things get dangerous. I mean, they're dangerous on their own, but I just start cutting. I don't know when to stop. I just get crazy. I get in the zone. <laughs> so... All right, we're going to keep nibbling away at it, but it's lunchtime now, so I got to go change real quick and everything and get ready. So, see you guys back in a few. Oh, let me unplug that. Damn dogs will step on it and cut their legs off. And then that'd be bad. So, all right, we'll be back in a minute. You know what time it is? It's lunchtime. And let me tell you something, man. It is freaking the day before Thanksgiving. And and people are freaking crazy. That son of a gun just pulled out in front of me. People are freaking psychotic, man. Oh my gosh. Just let me get in the parking lot. Listen, I'm a defensive driver. These people are stupid around here. I mean, just stupid. Anyway, we're here, yay. Oh, because my lunch partner. Letting someone in. <laughs> so some lady cut me off in the bargain lot. Just drove right out in front of me in some little Honda thing. So I got your, I just ordered. So, all right. <laughs> we made it back from lunch. It was good. What do you think, Shelbers? The dags are outside acting crazy. And this is what they do when they're inside. This is pretty much what Henry does. Shelby. That's Henry's, one of his blankets. That was a Patriot blanket. And he tore it all up, but he loves the Patriots. We still love the Patriots, even though Tom's not there. Bucks, too. That's Henry's blanket. He got that for his birthday. Alley Kitten. Whoa. Tubber Tots here. Oliver. You guys are gonna be you gonna be YouTube famous, Oliver. <laughs> He's crazy. He likes to run zoomies through the house. That's where he just runs like a crazy person. And there's the boo man. So, all right, you dags ready to go outside? Huh? You ready to go outside, Shelbs? Oh God, what? Jesus Christ, dude, for real? Come on, let's go. We gotta go work on a car. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Henry. Dang, Bonka. Shelby's ready to go. You ready to go do it, girl. Come on, let's okay, go. Okay, look at, check it out, man. This is a lean, mean, rusty AF machine. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, look, we can unscrew this. Take that off. That'll be like an ounce. Yeah. You know, God, if I was super brave, I would just cut this. Just like that. Just on both sides. What do you think, Henry? He goes, just do it. Be brave. Cut it. Dude, stop licking people. I mean, dang. What do you think, bro? We could trim that right on up some more, couldn't we? I mean, that's got to be at least four, five, six, seven, eight ounces. If it's made of metal, it's made of metal. And it's heavy. Hey, don't touch that. It's plugged in. You'll step on it, you freaking doofus. You got a piece of grass in your mouth. Good Lord. I swear, dog. Uh, I gave him a hot dog last night, just uncooked out of the pack. I think Teresa may still have that video. I'll get her to send it to me. Henry, what you got there, buddy? What you got? <laughs> oh my gosh. Neither one of them were, <laughs> were overly impressed. They like their hot dogs cooked in a bun with like ketchup and mustard. And preferably if I'm already eating off of it, then they can't seem to get enough of it. But anyway, what are you guys doing? Oh, chicken squirrel. Could be a squirrel somewhere. All right, freaking dags. Well, here we go. Another, oh, there's our sway bar. We just decided that we'd take a chunk of frame rail too. Why not? Um, shoot, man, this 
thing's still just as sturdy as it ever was. Look at all this rat stuff. Hansa virus, Hansa virus. Oh, look at that, bolt. Yeah, a couple nuts and bolts. Uh, still pretty good. Now this side's already, you know, half jacked up. And we drove the brain for quite a few years before we put our little piece of L aluminum in there because the whole frame section's gone. So I figured if it rode all that time like that, this will be fine. Plus, again, all we got sitting up here is aluminum radiator fan and we'll have our nose piece, but the fenders will hold a lot of that weight. Um, I've trimmed up the header, the, or the headlight bar, and it doesn't have a bumper, so I don't see why this isn't, this isn't fine. We left some structure here, I think. Hey, we're doing so good now. We're gonna, I might, I'm gonna trim some of this, I think. Just, at the end of the day, guys do, you know, they tube the front and stuff like that. I mean, this I'm gonna leave alone. I, I actually looked at, thought about just whacking it, just whacking the center section out like I did the radiator, and I was like, you know, I, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna hold off on that and leave it the way it is. Um, but I'm, I'm happy with this. Like I say, guys, do the tube front end stuff, and you know, I probably wouldn't have done this to a like a nice er car, but this car's so rough. Just who cares? I mean, honestly, who cares? And the the best part is, is on this one on the other side, the uh, outside frame rail is actually. Eh, I wouldn't say it, it's, it's, I was gonna say it's the better one, but I don't know. They're both shit, honestly. But uh, anyway, so, hey, and check it out. Safety first. I've been, you know, I've been practicing my safety. I'm not wearing gloves, but at least, you know, as I have proven, I can grow a finger back. <laughs> I got that lizard blood. Lizard blood, Shepard. Uh oh, what, what is it? You see a squirrel? She acts like she sees something. Anyway, uh, so cool. I'm actually kind of happy to get this kind of wrapped up a little bit. Just get, or let me rephrase that, have some resolution to it. Because it's been, I've been fretting over it a lot. I, that makes no sense, but honestly, a lot of the stuff I do doesn't make any sense. But uh, so here it is. So we've been fretting over it, but we're going to uh, nip this one the same way we nip the other one. And uh, probably do, like I say, do a little bit more trimming in here because realistically, all these have to do is just hold the uh, the rad in. So, um, hey, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it so far. I mean, I, I know that's scary to say because it looks like a complete freaking train wreck, but I'm happy with it. <clears throat> all right. So. Okay, let me get back to whacking. Figured I'd show you show you me actually working on whatever. guys I've had my tetanus shot all right boom <laughs> what do you think shelvers get it light get it right fastest sausage in the south aren't you yes you look skinny from the side but you get like this girl ain't something so wide should be so fast yes that's right yes that's right Spotted streak. Yeah. What? 
I know. I had I had a hamburger for lunch. It was really good too. Don't forget that little piece of rust. Uh, not as quite as much from this frame rail because you know there wasn't quite as much of it here. Good night. But you know we'll take it. Beggars can't be choosers. Look at that. This thing is. thing is solid as a rock. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we can put all our wires and stuff back. Well, we're still going to fit. We're going to trim up, I think, this radiator because, you know, we can't leave well enough alone. We got, we have got to go where you ain't supposed to go <laughs> on these deals. Hey, too far is just right. So, all right, cool. And I say it again. This is the beauty of having a shit box. You just cut it up. You don't care. Someone leans on it, scratches the paint. Don't get me wrong. You shouldn't lean on people's cars and stuff. But so you like, you know. I wish you wouldn't have done that, bro. But it is what it is. Add another character mark to it. All right, we got it. Uh, we we're. I'm actually happy with this. I wasn't. I was very uh, kind of, I don't know, when I first started kind of doing this deal, this right here. But um, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm happy with the result. There's enough, it's not a lot, but there's enough weight in my hand to go. And it's all off the front of the car. So, uh, good deal. And it didn't cost us nothing except some cutting wheels and some time. Those are great too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look at trimming this up some more. Probably should leave it alone, but we'll see. I'm, I don't know if I am. Perfect. All right. After kind of looking it over and thinking it over, I think I'm just gonna stand pat with where I'm at on cutting the leaving the stuff for a lower radiator support. I say that I don't know I need to look at it I'm sorry I need to let me set the radiator in it kind of look at it oh Henry got mad Shelby stole her stole her she stole this hey give me that come here give it hey hey Henry 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 give it hey dude dude don't make me come get that Henry come here he knows what I'm gonna do. Give it. Hey, come here. Give it. Give it. Give it. Son of a gun. Here's Shelbers. Oh, she won't take it. Because Henry wants it. <laughs> but she was standing with it in her mouth and he barked at her. And she just eyeballed him. You want it, Shelbs? Shelbers. Okay. Shelby, go over there and take that from him. Go take it from him. Go take it from him. Show him who's the boss around here. Huh? Oh. Oh, now he's going to dare to take it. Gosh. Dude, you're like passive aggressive. Shelby, go get that from him. She'll wait till he ain't looking, then she'll sneak it from him. Look, she's, oh, she's watching. She's checking that tree to make sure any squirrels have not come down since the two minutes or the one minute she's been away from it. She just chased one a second ago up that tree. She ran over there and slid into the fence just about. Always on the watch. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm uh, still thinking. <laughs> oh gosh, what is wrong with me? Well, I can live with it. <laughs> Let me cut the other side off and we'll be done screwing around with this and we start swapping. I think we're gonna start swapping intake. So, okay, that's it. I'm gonna cut this other piece off and then I'm done cutting this crap off. So we'll see. Probably, it's not gonna be much weight, but like I said, it makes sense to me. I know to other people, this is probably the stupidest thing in the world, but it makes sense to me. And um, I guess that's all, that, at the end, that's all that really matters. Is that it makes sense to us, right, Henrys? Right, Henners? He's like, what? Are you done chewing on that AC con 
control cover dude hand puppets you and hand puppet are starting to have a relationship i mean like you guys are besties i'm starting to feel jealous Okay, let me get this other one cut real quick. Well, there we go. 14 whole pounds for all that work. But, oh, yeah. What? But that's 14 pounds that we don't have on the nose now. So, we'll probably, I'm hoping that we might be, that we might be 100 pounds lighter. With some of the sound deadening and the interior stuff, along with this right here. And, uh the uh, K member and all that, that we might be, we might be right in the 100 pound range. I could live with that. So, okie dokie. Let me, uh, man, I wanted to start on the intake, but I don't know. All right, cool. Let me, let me see what we're doing here. We have got it all ready to be released. There's our big stealth. I sure hope the little Torker 289 can get the job done. Um, we'll see. I mean, again, changing eight things, so I don't know. But what are what really are what really are our goals? We're trying to get in the sixes. We're not trying to run a 675. We're just trying, or whatever. We're just trying to get in the sixes with this kind of ratty combination see and it's going to run what's going to run but hopefully the intake will not hurt us even if it doesn't help us it doesn't hurt us that's all we really need to worry about so anywho let's get finish getting this thing off for school kids that is gonna be a little bit all right somehow or another I managed to uh, lose a couple washers I mean that's not a big shock That's going to be us. That is going to be us. That's pretty rad. I wonder how much shorter it is. If, or if any. I guess I can measure it. But that's pretty cool. I love single planes. I, I can't help it, guys. <laughs> I love single. I love single planes. I know dual planes work great. I I totally understand. But man, single planes are just freaking cool. You know. You got a single your car's got a single plane. You like that kid with a pack of cigarettes rolled up in his sleeve. You just don't he just knows something about him that ain't quite right or he's a little too cool. He's not the guy he is not the guy you wanna copy his homework or pick a fight with. So like I say, that's that's pretty rad looking. I'm I'm liking, I'm liking where this day has ended up so far. So, uh, we'll probably, I just, I mean, I'm at a stopping point right now. So, Teresa's on her way home. We got stuff to do, blah, 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 blah. So, we got a little bit done. I will say this much. I've been having some enjoyable days working on the car. Nice and easy, lemon peasy, easy squeezy. And I haven't been stressing myself out editing these stupid videos. <laughs> Plus, having the dags out here helps there. I don't even know where they are. I don't know. They're somewhere. Henry's probably laying by the shop, resting. Who knows what Shelby's doing. So, anyway, yeah, that's um, that's pretty rad. I'm going to be okay with that. I hope it I hope it runs good. So then we can, uh, we got we got some other stuff down the road. Hey, Shelby's, we got some other stuff down the road to put on this thing and so we can turn it up. A little bit more so maybe we'll look at putting a 
488. And we got a lot of ideas that don't make sense and are stupid and will make minimal to no gain. But we don't care because we're going to do it anyway. So just because in my head, people are like, what's the combination? It's got single plane Torque 289. It's got 488s in it. It's on a little tire. It's got some ported GT40s. I just turned the shit out of it. <laughs> it's fun. I just love the sound of it in my head. So, all right. Shop. I better get out of the shop. Um, all right, cool. Let me, uh, we'll see you guys in the morning for the, and we'll just keep this vid rolling. We'll see you guys in the morning and uh, get this bolted down. And um, that'll be, <laughs> sorry, I, I got stuff to do. Let me get to, I got to start cleaning up. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the morning. It's hard to see, but we're getting a little tight in there on clearance. <laughs> dang it i need a bigger hood scoop it's no i don't need a bigger one but oh well it'd be okay it's just gonna be what it's gonna be we're trying our best we've also got a different water neck housing we're gonna put a uh 45 on it and we've got a different uh radiator hose i just don't like the up and over deal after we move the alternator i like it to be like that just just my thing so uh but took the 160 out. I kind of forgot to go get another one, but get that anytime. Uh, put the 160 in, and, <clears throat> and I think I may go ahead and try and bolt it up real quick just so it'll be setting. Oh, I think Teresa's here. I think she just got home. The dogs ran over there. They can hear the garage door opening. So anyway, let me uh, bolt that on and get it going. All right, kids, hold on. Fun fact, our Stealth is 19.4 pounds with thermostat housing and spacer. Here's our Torker 2, or Torker 289 is 15.9. So, what is that? That's like three and a half pounds savings. Sweet, man. Single planes are awesome. Awesome. Yes, I'm halfway through the torque sequence already. We have got it. Ready to go. This is our Yes, the three eighths uh, impact is at work. Of course, you know. And like I say, this intake and spacer higher than the old taller than the old stealth so by about uh, maybe three quarters of an inch um, so now technically this spacer is a quarter inch taller uh oh the crew chief you're probably in the shot so you might as well come on around being so bashful so. anyway we got it torqued down so I guess now that the master is home play time is over at least cars get that real play time going like shopping <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. I know I said we'd see you in the morning already before. Shelvers, go Shelvers. Oh, she's going to get you. She's going to get that sweater. No, she got you with her claws. She's going to get you with her your sweater. And so. All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. Go Shelvers. All right, it is the next morning, and we are out here. Um, going to try and bolt this together. Uh, it is actually Thanksgiving Day, so happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, Teresa and her mom are in there cooking away, and uh, I'm out here beating on junk. So technically speaking, we just need to get the car bolted down and get the distributor dropped back in, get any, any little loose ends bolted back together and everything, and uh, 
of course, we got to bolt the nose back on and um, fill it up with some water. And then we've got some other things that we're possibly looking at doing. Um, Holt has announced that they will have their test in tune on Sunday. So trying to get some information from the track guy about, you know, the actual prep and stuff. Because, you know, if this is going to be the last deal that he's going to do, I mean, I'm not sure how much effort he's going to put into it. So, you know, if, I, if I'm going to go, I want to go somewhere where the track is prepped. It, it don't do me no good to go up there and just spin the tires. And, you know, I'm not going to be happy about that. You know, I want to go where I got the best chance to make good passes. And if that's, <clears throat> if that's Holt, then that's where I'll go. Or if they're going to prep it, that's where I'll go. But if, you know, they're like, well, we're just going to do what we're going to do, then it's like, I don't know. I might, uh, <laughs> you know, we might look at going to Atmore. I hate to say that, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. So we're chasing time slips. So that's... That's just the reality of the situation. But hopefully I'll get a response back and we'll uh <clears throat> he'll say, Yeah, we're gonna do what we normally do, and I'll be like, Okay, but it's last test and tune of the season, you hate to throw it away. So anyway, let me start getting some of this figured out and bolted together and then we'll see what we got. All right, we have got our radiator hose hoses uh back up, so um, of course, like anything else, there's always issues unforeseen or not like, oh crap, that's going to happen. Um, throttle cable is an issue. Our carburetor is now tweaked a little bit to the side and it is actually what three quarters of an inch higher. So we were already in a huge amount of trouble for throttle cable length. I didn't think of that especially the height um uh so so we may have to put an efi cable on it i mean whatever this one's basically not going to work so we're gonna have to buy a new cable at some point or we're gonna have to do something you know just whatever <laughs> but unforeseen these are the unforeseen problems that you run into and you're like oh why didn't i realize that or, you know, it just is what it is. So, no biggie. I guess we'll uh, get the throttle cable deal. We'll just put an EFI cable in it and for now and call that good enough for us for the moment. So, anyway, but we are, you know, we're trotting along here, getting stuff bolted in, everything secured. We'll fire it up here in a little bit. So, be ready for lunch by then. <clears throat> We've got our EFI cable on, and it works fine. I'm just, you know, not super happy with the look, but I mean, I guess let's be honest. Look under the hood of this thing. What are we actually trying to accomplish? We're not, uh, you know, we're not trying to get anybody to ooh and all at the uh, cars and coffee thing. First off, because we wouldn't be there. Secondly, because we wouldn't care. So it functions. But uh, all right. Let me finish some of this, tidying up some of this mess right here. I would also like to point out there's not a single wire nut in this area, Ray. Not a single one, just saying. Um, and uh, something else. I'm forgetting something. Oh, well, I'll remember it <laughs> once it happens. <laughs> well, the white zip tie gang is back in action. Um, we got us a different uh, overflow mounted. It's actually mounted. The, we lost our uh, Gatorade bottle or Powerade bottle last time. It bounced. I don't expect that to happen again, but what the heck. Um, but here's another little thing that we're talking about where you always run into these little nitpicky issues that slow you up or you're like, oh, no. The, uh, for the temperature gauge, that hole or that is different. This is the auto meter stuff. It's too big. So digging around in our 
extra fitting. This is some of it. We got more. We happen to have one of the correct size fittings and it also fits the gauge. Sometimes that's an issue too, the sending unit. So anyway, this is just why you don't throw anything away. When you get extra parts or extra things in your line kits or any of your gauges or anything, throw it in a bucket and keep it bolts, nuts, Tussin's tips, you don't throw anything away. That's how you accumulate a bunch of garbage. Anyway, so, all right, cool. At least, you know, we, we'll have that. And once we get that, we'll, I think we'll be ready to put some water in it, throw the distributor in, maybe fire it up. It's running. Jake's going on a run. I can see him. Uh, we are literally out of gas. So, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and wrap this video up right here. Um, it does run. Nothing was leaking. Everything looked, everything looked good. We uh, have got uh, a few plans, <clears throat> more plans we want to do the car before we uh, take it to the track Sunday. Um, like I said before, we're going to swap distributor. Tomorrow, I'll go get some fuel. It's Thanksgiving, so everything's closed. Um, tomorrow, I'll go get some fuel, and uh, we'll fuel it up. And then I'm going to take it out to the facility. We'll do the distributor. i got one other job that I'm probably going to do. we obviously got to bolt the nose piece back on. Um, i got one other job that I'm going to do, I think, pretty sure. And, uh, you know, then we'll... We may bolt an old set of slicks on it. Since we'll be out at the facility, we can maybe uh, run it a little bit or whatever, test it, whatever you want to call it, without it maybe spinning the tires off of it. And uh, at that point, I think we'll be ready to go to the track and see if we can, you know. It's, and it's it's warm. I mean, my God, it was cold the last few days. It's warm today. I don't even know why. I have this long sleeve shirt. I'm like, Jesus Christ, why we got on? Um, so we'll try and get to the track Sunday and get that number but uh anyway that's it i know whatever uh thanks for subscribing thanks for commenting thanks for watching and watching you guys watch these videos i guess uh shelby and henry over there chewing on a piece of a mustang and uh yeah i'm talking about you and uh until next time a substandard leader we'll see you guys in the next video